this is Rashmi and you are watching the Java Barcelona YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain you how abstraction in Java. Uh, what is in my abstraction in Java? What is abstraction? Why you need the concept of abstraction? And some real time example uh, regarding about some abstraction. Okay, real time example. What do you mean by abstraction? Basically, abstraction means um, first of all, I give an example. Uh, so I uh, those example and to connect with the definitions. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, when you are uh, when you are uh, calling a friend to your phone. Suppose your friend is staying uh, Hyderabad and you are staying from Odisha, and you are calling your friend uh, from your phone, and uh, you just call your friend. And at the moment when uh, when you press the call button, call connect to your uh, friend, and you will talk with a friend. Uh, whatever you are talking friend but shall you observe that when you press the call button how how the call is connected to the second person or friend when you call the button the call signal how signal goes to uh, corresponding network tower tower to corresponding sec, uh, post tower then how it connected how it connected uh, shall you observe uh, and uh, shall you observe that point I think no. We always uh, not observe the what is happening in background. We always bother about what is what thing is happening in front of us. Okay, uh, we are not focusing about that. Next example that when you type the keyboard, uh, shall you observe that how or how how the when you press the key, it is printed in the notepad. How when you press a key and how it is print in a in key keypad. Have you observed that? No. So basically, the end user doesn't bother about, doesn't, um, doesn't think about what is the thing background happening. So abstraction, abstraction. If I am giving the example or main description, abstraction means hiding the internal operation, hiding the internal operation, implementation detail from the end user that provide only we are providing the necessary object. Operation is called abstraction. That means we are hiding. In first example, I am high uh, the service provider hide the concept or not. On call button, it hide the inter internal what is happening, background what is happening. So man, abstraction means hiding the internal operation, implementation details. That is impl what is implementation details are happening uh, from the uh, from the end user. Okay, you can call as user or end user. And providing necessary details, uh, object operation is called abstraction. Okay, abstraction. So I have given definitions. Okay, uh, I think this is an answer. Abstraction means suppose hiding of implementation details from user provide necessity. What is the example? Can I give some example? Yes, I can give an example. ATM machine. Uh, the second one is a uh, keyboard. Uh, keyboard. Third one is that you know call button. Okay, this is the example. And uh, if I represent in another angle, I'll give you uh, one real time example so that you can understand very properly. Okay. Another thing, another thing that. When you are going to shop and uh, you want some pen, buy a pen, then shopkeeper, uh, shopkeeper will show you, uh, shopkeeper will show you so many varieties, so many varieties, and you choose one of them pen and buy it, buy it, buy it, or you take it the pen. This is called abstraction. This is called abstraction. That means. Here, if you look, uh, if you observe the example very, um, very, uh, if you observe the example, you get that you are going to a shop for pen, but hiding the other thing are present in the shop. There is no matter what you think you are present in the shop, not bother. But you are just focusing about the pen. Okay, this is this is basically called abstraction. This example you can take it real time example. This is called abstraction. Okay. You note down the example and you you can understand what is the abstraction. This, this is the this is the real-time example. 
and if we give next example uh, suppose digestion system we, uh, when we are try to eat in food we eat but it doesn't observe that how the food is digested in our uh, in our system internal system this is also called or this is called also called as abstraction this is the five example to understand the abstraction i think you have more with clarity about the example uh then going to next thing next level discussion how can we develop how can we develop how can we develop abstraction how can you develop abstraction class how can you develop abstraction class the answer is that basically abstraction provide con uh, contract document abstraction give it contract document between object your object uh, object user and a user uh, object implemented object contract between object user and object implementer object user and implementer this document will contain list of operation declare for abstract method that means abstraction is a given in contract between object user and object implementer so that in this case we can develop we can develop um, the abstraction here is the point here is the point you can get to the point and you can say that then then going to next question how can you um, then uh, how can you uh, how can we restrict the subclass how can we restrict the subclass to not override not override superclass method how can we restrict the subclass to not override superclass method if you are not know about subclass superclass then i have um, the, the the related video i added to i button you can go and check it and enjoy the what is the discussion about subclass superclass then question is um, how can i restrict um, how can we restrict restrict uh, subclass to override superclass the answer is that um, by you um, by declaring or you can call us by final by declaring method as final you can do it by using method as final you can stop using a restri subclass restri subclass to access the operator superclass yes, superclass then next question is that next question is that how can you or uh, how can subclass operate subclass method then how can uh, how can subclass override superclass hey superclass hey superclass by right? using superclass okay the answer is that by declaring method as abstract you can override okay by declaring method as declaring method as abstract we can we can override okay this is the point we related about yeah. this is the point related about this is a point related about override okay mm -hmm. then uh, going to next level discussion what is abstraction method abstraction method what is abstraction method abstraction method means, uh, method has only prototype having only prototype doesn't have body it's called abstract method uh, those method those method having only body and no the method having only prototype prototype type and 
doesn't have body is called abstract method. Those method having only prototype and doesn't have any method um, or body is called abstract method. Example, if I give you an example, suppose here is the example. Abstract, abstract void. Suppose I give name some Java. Okay, this is also the abstract method. This is also abstract method. Okay, there is no implementation of um, body, and there is only prototype. Only prototype. Only prototype. Uh, then what is the abstract class? What is the abstract class? Mm, a class that declare with abstract modifier is called abstract class. Then I'm going to let's play what, what is uh, abstract class. The um, a class a class uh, that is declare. On declare and declare with abstract modifier it is called abstract class. It's called abstract class. Abstract class is a partial implementation class. It is it is a partial implementation class. implementation class it will be both abstract method and functional method it contains both abstract and concrete method it contain both abstract method and concrete method Okay, contain both abstract method and concrete method. Uh, then, this contain both abstract and concrete method. Abstract method for declaring operation from uh, implementing uh, so uh, sub uh, implementing uh, by subtype and um, concrete method for implementing operation from common uh, one next subtype. Okay, and when should you use? Uh, when should you use? Should you use uh, abstract class in a project? So when you have um, when you have multiple when you have multiple uh, subtype and you want to uh, execute some logic about your class and uh, some other logic other operation other operation from implement from subclass subclass or subtype the programmers then should use the abstract class. That means suppose you have a, a, a class and there is many sub, you know, subclasses and you want to operate some logic um, operation from sub, each one class and some other operation from uh, other subclass then you have to use abstract class you have to use abstract class you have to give you abstract class okay this is how you can you can this is all about the abstraction class uh, in java abstraction class in java Okay, I think you have got a clear about the code. Thank you for watching. If you like, subscribe my channel. If you have no, doubt, comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.